going on guys <clears throat> gotta make this video I'm pretty excited about this one um, I had a revelation yesterday of something that was pretty profound and it was through the course of the last you know year or so the, the meditation process and kind of what I've been doing and I've been trying my best to follow my instincts and allow the thread of truth to guide me in my in my life in my path and every step of the way has been a, a synchronicity after a exact lineup of my desires after a coincidence leads to this that is manifesting almost every single desire that I could possibly want in my life and you guys have seen the tr the transformation you, like over the course of how long I've been making these videos, it's significantly changed for me. And the, the reason why I'm excited about this video in particular is because I believe that I have truly experienced and uncovered something that is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to just dive right into it. Um, so I've been reminiscing a lot about, you know, my childhood and I've come to the realization and, I, and I've done, you know, some driving around through my old neighborhood and, and because I live where I grew up. And so I'm getting to like relive all this stuff and I'm getting to go back to these points in time. And I suggest this for everybody. If you have the ability to do so, I believe is, it is the time for us now to really take a look back through the course of, of our lifetime. And I know, I, I, and I'm not suggesting that we live in the past at all by any means. I'm just suggesting that there are situations and circumstances that happened there back then that have crafted us into the ideological belief system guided individual that we are now. Okay? So, for me, I'm going back to these these and and you'll 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 understand what I'm talking about if you start doing this I'm going back to these moments and I'm and I'm talking about all the moments I'm talking about the traumatic ones the the good ones all of them okay I'm talking about everything that's happened and to us individually over the course of our lifetime and I'm allowing these these the feelings that I had during those periods of time, during those moments, I'm allowing that feeling to come back and I'm, and I'm allowing that feeling to expand, I guess you could say, within me to where it becomes more like, a, 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 I don't know what to, like even how to ex describe it, but it's almost like I get to experience it again, okay? And this isn't even the weirdest part. What I'm going to get to in a moment is, is going to be what's what for me is, is baffling and mind-boggling. And I almost don't even want to say it. But it's too, I feel like it's too important and, I, and, I've, cre and I've seen, I've lived the pathway to this experience, I believe. So what I've done, I think is I've created like a, almost like a wormhole to the past. Because what is happening from going back and allowing these emotions and these feelings to consume me and to re-experience these emotions and to really analyze what happened, what I thought of at that moment and what I was feeling at that moment, that particular moments, right? And my, my course of action moving forward from those experiences. What did it do to my decision-making process that caused me, and what did it cause in my set of choices moving forward? You know, how did it, how did it, deflect me off the path that I was on, right? 
And I'm not saying that anything is wrong or right or indifferent. It just is what it is. But there are critical things that have transpired within our minds that have shaped us into beings that are more willing to accept the illusion that we find ourselves in. So we have to start, like for me, I had to start, I was called, it was like a, a, a I was compelled. And it was a pure and loving and compassionate urge that I felt to go back and reconnect with these moments in my life that had significant, I feel, that I feel had significant impacts. Now, this is the trippy part. Those moments in my life are directly threaded to my current experience with the past. Okay? So the consciousness thread has been established from now to 1985 to 1996 to 1997 because I'm going back and I'm getting I'm creating the emotion again of the of the feelings that I had then because I'm creating that vibrational connection it's opening a path of consciousness which is solidifying the concept that the past, present, and future, and time, as we experience it, is an illusion. Because I believe that everything that I am experiencing has already happened. It's already real because of the thought pattern that I've created in my mind that that converges with the physical reality that we have all created and are experiencing. I don't even know what I just said. I, uh, I can't, I mean, it's, it's, it's mind boggling because it almost feels as if I can go back and I, and like, that's why I felt significantly back then. That's why those emotions were so important back then, because those are the emotions that I'm going to now. So I'm my, my expression now of those experiences and emotions are creating the intensity of those emotions back then. And it's all corresponding and tying together and creating like almost like a wormhole. It's like a consciousness synchronicity. Like a consciousness convergence from 1996 or whatever year to the present. And what it's doing is it's opening my mind and opening my eyes to like the way, the nature of reality and the nature of everything that's going on and how insignificant what we consider to be significant these things really are. Does that even make sense? We place, by the placement of our invested emotion and vibrational energy frequency by doing that by directing that in any particular way it manifests that that experience into reality so by seeking truth and only only seeking truth and the willingness to let go of the fear that's associated with letting go of the belief systems that have been pounded into our consciousness for thousands of years by letting go of those it changes everything it changes the the nature of how we interact with reality 
I promise you that. Something amazing is 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 on its way. We've been fed a script that I don't feel is perceived in the way that it was intended. I think everything has been twisted in a way to become the, a cause of, of fear. I believe that everything has been hijacked and twisted in a way to create fear. Because the only, the only way to keep us locked in, in, in prison is to keep us afraid of, of breaking free. That's the only way to keep us locked. So, we're moving forward. We're growing. Things are happening. I can feel it. Things are starting to, to liven up, for lack of better terms. And, uh... I am eternally grateful for the truth that we are all going to become exactly who and what we are. And that it's our choice which direction we wish to express. And the only judgment, if you will, is that which the individual has to carry with themselves. And every choice And action is followed by an expression of the same thought. So the thought process dictates the direction that the energy flows. And the, the direction that the energy goes is the direction that the body goes. We follow our minds. There's no other way to explain it. So the thought patterns that's that's been that have been established on this planet are meant specifically to deceive us and to keep us in a state where we are the ones that are creating fear. And I want you to know that the more fear, the higher the level of fear, the more this planet's gonna want to get us off of it. So that's that's the truth. Everything is tied together. I see that now. Everything is 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 part of the entire the entire thought process so we have lot we've decided to stick ourselves here on this on the face of this planet and the way that we conduct ourselves has a direct result in the way the planet reacts to our presence so the higher the frequency of, of negativity or the lower the, the frequency, which is of a negative vibration, the lower that rate of vibration becomes, which is, is more aligned with fear and darkness and, and, and anger, the more the planet's gonna wanna go shake us off of its back. Um, and that's what they want. So just keep that in mind when, when we, we go, we need to keep that in mind when we go about conducting ourselves amongst, uh, amongst each other. Um, that's, that's where we're at. And the sun is having a direct effect in amplifying the emotions on the planet. So it's their job to direct us in a negative way. It's our job to see through the illusion, wake up, and come alive. And live again. I mean, that's it. Right there. I love you guys. We'll see ya.